You talk about 90 years, you know, that's not all that long because I've been on the earth nearly 90 years. From its humble beginnings to this day and age of technology, Clare High School has embraced excellence in education and striven for the highest and best it can be, not only in the student outcomes, but in cohort wellbeing, facilities and in teaching staff. Student learning has always been a priority, engaging in a variety of curriculum which has been developed for the needs of the day. The aim is to allow every student to achieve to their highest capabilities and to become solid and meaningful members of their chosen community. Clare High School began on 24th of January 1921. The building to house the school was not completed, so we began in the upstairs of the Institute, the Town Library, with 25 students enrolled. During 1921, six more students enrolled, with the only staff member being a Mr E.J. Flaherty. On February 22nd, the school moved to the rear of French's Shoe Store, now the RSL Hall. Here it stayed until 1925, teaching English, Geography, Arithmetic, Chemistry, Singing, Algebra and Latin. I enjoyed my... Latin and French lessons, would you believe? Uh, should have kept going with French, but, but didn't. I would have to say there are the, the events where kids and staff and, um, and community come together, uh, they're, always, they're always wonderful because they're those sort of events that actually change it from being a job, which is something you come and do, to being a lifestyle. Fondest memories of Clare High School are probably um, some of the carnivals that we used to have, our swimming and athletics carnivals, also being part of the SRC and being a head prefect in year 12 was fantastic. I think some of the uh, really good times were um, our um, suppers after our governing council and also the groups um, that we, the governing council used to meet with for the, the anniversary yes. um, for the 75th, know, anniversary. Yeah, 75th anniversary. anniversary. That was really good times too with the um, my dad was on that and there was quite a few his age on it and yeah. they were great. Uh, but, you know, some might say my successes are uh, watching past students come and uh, be my line managers, uh, <laughs> which has now happened three times. <laughs> Change and innovation have been embraced to keep up with the changing attitudes of the world and the need to become global, at the same time ensuring the basics are intrinsic in the everyday manner of teaching. As the expectations and learning styles have changed and children have become more questioning, teaching of lessons has also changed. 1925 and the school moved to the southern end of Clare on the main North Road. Introduced by Dr O. Ween Smith, the school council chairman, the school was opened by the Honourable John Evan, MP. I think that uh, the school is still the size that you can, you can know all the kids and, uh, and feel like, yeah, that it, yeah, that, um, I think you feel the connection with the place enough that it's, you know, a homely feel, even though it's big enough that it's a happening place, um, it's still small enough that there's a community feel and, uh, and I like that. Clare High School has been, uh, without a doubt, uh, my most uh, memorable, uh, enjoyable experience in education. Um, well, it definitely provides a school that lots of people from the region can come to. Um, and it's a really good school that where you know, people who come out with good marks and can go into the workforce. So it's very important. The thing that I always remember from the um, poor kids on the on the oval was that they only sent one brown bag from every child from all the different schools. They'd all paid their money in advance, and I was absolutely horrified when I realised that it was only one bag 
for each child, one brown bag, and so you were putting a hot pie in and perhaps a cream cake in with this hot pie, and that would sit there for five or ten minutes before the um, person would come over from the school to pick up their box of stuff and take it over to their school to hand out to the children. And I hate to think what those lunches must have tasted like. I always remember that. You often said that a school reflects its community. So in saying that, what we're doing at Clare High is growing the next generation of, of adults for this community and hopefully uh, in doing that we're enriching the community and we're enriching the school at the same time and the lives of those, of those young people. Clare High School has been a focus point for many things throughout its history bringing the school and community together. The continental, sporting events, musical productions, interviews, business ventures, committees and task groups. The school council, parents and friends, community garden, donations, not only of money, but of time and energy, has seen many parents, staff, students and community members working side by side for the good of the whole school. 90 years time. 90 years. I don't know if it'll still be going. Will we have schools in 90 years? Could be a virtual school. Ah, well, Rimmerball, can it survive 90 years? I think it might undergo some name changes uh, throughout the next 90 years, but I'll yeah. still be here. So. Well, 90 years time, uh, they might be digging me up from a time capsule. <laughs>